All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, thanks everybody for joining and coming over to the Boomtown Broker Mint webinar today. Uh, we got a couple great systems here, and I'm joined uh, by uh, Brian from Boomtown, who's going to introduce himself right now. Hey, everybody. I'm Brian Ostroviak, and I'm the uh, Product Marketing Launch Manager. Uh, just great to be here. Thanks for watching. Yep. And uh, I'm Brian Shepard. I'm an account executive over at Broker Mint. So uh, when you guys call in and try, try to sign up for a demo or a consultation, I'm the guy you talk to. I've seen a lot of cool system setups, uh, a lot of good and bad and ugly system setups, to be honest with you. Uh, so I can kind of help you navigate between those waters. Um, and that's kind of what I do over here. Brian, if you want to tell them what you do at Boomtown. Yeah, so I'm actually uh, in a very similar fashion. I'm responsible for taking all the new features to market and helping to create the strategy behind the product. So what are the best practices to use our system to be successful? That's what I spend a lot of my time doing. Right. And uh, today, basically, that's what we're going to be doing is going from uh, kind of demoing out the Boomtown system and mostly what they have to offer for you aside from features. Uh, so we're going to kind of go from lead to transaction in Boomtown. We're going to show you the Brokerment Boomtown integration uh, where we can pull in those transactions into Brokerment and those leads into Brokerment. And then we're going to take that from transaction to close inside the Brokerment system. Uh, we had a guest panelist, Catherine Singletary, but unfortunately she wasn't able to make it today, uh, but that's okay. Um, I have a little bit of information I can share with you when we get to there. And then last but not least, we have Boomtown Unite coming up. Brian, you want to tell them a little bit about that? Yeah, Boomtown Unites, our annual user conference. Uh, we've been putting it on for several years now, and our goal is just to make one of the best events in real estate. It's, a, it's a, an event that we throw for Boomtown clients only. It's focused around users of the system and using Boomtown for success, but really our goal is just to help get all of our clients together, share a lot of great tactical strategies, and then have a really good time in Charleston too. So um, that's coming up here in April uh, 1st to the 3rd. So if you're on the call and you're an existing client, Strongly recommend you attend if at all possible. And you guys uh, from Brokerment will be there as well. So also a great chance to learn more about Brokerment. That's right. Yeah, totally. Um, so guys, we know you're going to have some questions come up while we're doing the webinar here. And that's totally cool. Uh, we do have a chat box. So you can just kind of chime in in the chat box if you want. Um, otherwise, you know, you can wait till the end. We will have time for plenty of time for questions and answers then. Uh, so without further ado, Brian, you want to go ahead and take it away with Boomtown here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'll talk for just a second and then I'll share my screen. So for any broker mint clients on the webinar that have no idea what Boomtown is, what we do, we are an integrated platform that combines lead generation, a front end facing website, a consumer focused website, and a full featured CRM. And I say fully integrated because our goal really is to take those three pieces of technology and make them work together seamlessly. It's not just three pieces of software for one price. It's really about one system designed to help you be successful. And one of the biggest things we've learned after being in business for 10 years is that the technology will always evolve. Like the technology, what's new today will be old tomorrow. It's really the strategies that help people stand out. So as I kind of walk you guys through the life cycle of a lead today, that's really gonna be the key focus is how does our tech and our strategy come into play? And that's a really big part of Boomtown. It's tough to see on a webinar like this, but we have over 250 people that work at Boomtown and over 75% of those 250 people are in client services, success coaching, and we even have peer coaching programs where we help our own clients get together to help each other out. So that's a huge part of the Boomtown product itself. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen really quickly. And we'll jump straight into some demo time. If you'll excuse me one moment, I'm just going to move this little toolbar out of my way. Okay, so... What you're looking at right now, this is one of our Boomtown websites. This is the Path and Post Group in Woodstock, Georgia. Brad and Becky are awesome Boomtown clients, and they're actually uh, Brokerment users as well. They're one of our first clients to adopt this integration, so they have a lot of experience using the whole system um, from lead to close. What you're looking at now, this is what we call the gallery view of our Boomtown website. Again, if you're not familiar with our product whatsoever, um, a huge part of what we do and the reason that people come to us in the first place is for lead generation. The way we help our clients generate leads is by 
our team of experts with their proprietary in-house built software are managing your advertising budget and our weapons of choice are Google search engine advertising and we like Facebook advertising as well. Vast majority of our clients have other sources of traffic or leads as well. For example, portals like Zillow, Tulia and Realtor.com. We have integrations with a lot of the major portals and we also have a lot of other different avenues to drive traffic to your Boomtown website. But what I want to show you guys today is it, you know, when it comes to products like this, a lead generation product, you know, we've been in business for 10 years. And when we first started driving online traffic, digital traffic from search engines to a landing page like this, where, and I'll show you guys through on here as you browse to the Boomtown website, at a certain point, we're going to ask you to register in some strategic places. For most people, this is what online lead generation looks like. You're going to drive traffic to a website or landing page. You're going to capture the user's information and then you're going to put that into a CRM, which may or may not be integrated. And then you're going to use automation in that CRM to conduct your follow up and bring that lead into an opportunity, which can eventually lead into a transaction. Very proven methodology and a system that works. But today I want to get you guys thinking about a totally different way to approach this and how technology like Boomtown, specifically an integrated platform where a website and CRM work together can really help you look at this process differently. So what I just showed you, this is the point where we ask someone to register. And I want you to just remember that the reason people come to your website in the first place is for one thing in particular, and that is listings. They want to see homes for sale uh, or they want to get information about their property that they're interested in selling. Once a user registers here on the website, that makes them not just a lead in the Boomtown system, but also a subscriber. And that simple mindset, that little change in, in terminology can make a really big difference in how you approach database growth and create long-term sustainable growth for your business. Now, I've jumped to a different website. This is the Casino Group in Charleston, South Carolina. This is the website I used to buy my first home a couple of years ago. Um, what you're looking at right here, these are what are called saved searches, what we refer to internally as e-alerts. When a user comes to your Boomtown website um, and they register, not only are they a lead in your CRM, they are now a subscribed user to your website. That subscription is what we call e-alerts. In other words, they're signing up to receive property updates, which is what they came looking for in the first place. Now, there's a couple ways that subscription can work. Uh, you as the agent can go into the back end, the CRM, and set up a customized search for what exactly is going to fit that client's needs or what you think they need to be looking at. Sometimes agents know things that our clients don't, so we want to show them other opportunities for homes to buy out there. The user can set up searches themselves through the website, and if they don't do anything just based on their behavior, we're going to automatically create a system-built e-alert. And here's a really fun fact about these searches. These are the number one source of traffic to Boomtown websites. And what's interesting to think about is that I think we typically try to think of sources like Google and Zillow as being our top sources of traffic. But with a website like Boomtown, what happens is, is that over time, you are grabbing more and more users. And I'm just going to kind of click around and show you guys just other avenues of the website. This is the home screen, for example. And I'll even jump into the map search. But over time, that traffic being generated by those saved searches, those e-alerts, those property updates coming to your user's inbox is what brings them coming back. And that traffic over time becomes the number one source of traffic to your website. And it's really important to understand that this is how you can build long-term sustainable growth for your business because that traffic, which is being fueled by the IDX information that's powering your website, that traffic is what allows you to leverage a system that creates sustainable growth. It breaks you free from having to rely on what the current cost per lead is or what the current competitive environment is. And that's one of the key reasons why clients who've been with us for over three years on average triple the size of their business and that triple size referring to their agent count. In other words, their database continues to grow and their need for agents to help facilitate those transactions grows along with it. So there's a lot of different ways you can approach that, but that's one of the general ways that we help you grow sustainably. Essentially, you're taking control of all of this amazing data and you're creating opportunities. Now, Let's look at what that looks like on the back end and how we actually 
turn a lead into an opportunity. So what I've clicked into here, this is the Casino Group's CRM. This is the back end of that website. And I wanna turn your all's attention to a tool over here called the Now Wall. Um, and first of all, I wanna also point out over here, if we take away the filters, the Casino Group, these guys have been advertising consistently for 10 years. They have, I believe over 120, yeah, over 100, they just crossed 130,000 leads in their database. Now, most agents I talk to, would look at a database that size and say, man, what do you do with all of that? You know, it's great to have that information, but is it really valuable? Is it really useful? And again, this is where an integrated website and CRM can really have a huge advantage over standalone CRM systems is that that website, that subscription we created, the property updates being sent to the user creates real engagement that engagement over time keeps people coming back and it makes a database this size have a tremendous amount of value. The same way that social media websites wanna have focus on engaged and active users, you're really doing the same thing here. It's also the same thing that portals like Zillow and Trulia are doing as well. Now, I'm clicking on this button here called the Now Wall. There's a lot of things we can do from this screen. This is called Lead Central. Over here on the left-hand navigation, we have different tools for marketing where you can find drip plans where we can set up automated text messaging, for example, to respond to leads as soon as they come into the system. We can use advanced filtering to filter this database down and create list along with bulk actions to do a couple of other different things so we can send bulk text, emails, et cetera. But today, just because we're short on time and we're talking about the life cycle, I wanna turn your attention to this tool over here. This tool known as the Now Wall, a good way to think about this is it's like a Facebook feed of what's going on in your website. What are important activities that are happening right now that you should be aware of? Now we can see on here, some of these icons highlighted in yellow, these are new leads that are registering on the site, which is great. But we also show opportunities like this, where someone's showing a high degree of interest in a particular listing. So let's just click on this one. And this is live data, um, so I can show you guys what that looks like. I'll pull this out of the way so we can see this a little bit better. So. Right here, we're showing a high degree of interest in a listing, and I'm gonna scroll down to the listing in question here. What high interest means to us is that this lead showed above average behavior with that particular listing based on their previous behavior. There's an algorithm running in the back end of Boomtown that is kind of analyzing that behavior. It's looking at the different things they're doing. So this way we can show you hey, this lead is showing a high degree of interest in this particular property. Not just that they viewed a property, that they visited a page, but that based on all of their activity, it looks like they're more interested in this property than other ones they've been looking at. And just like I said before, click through an e-alert 10 minutes ago. That is how they keep coming back. Over time, you will find that this right here is the driving force behind the traffic that turns into the opportunities. And if we scroll here up at the top, again, I think this is a really, really great example of the reality of online lead generation. I think we like to sometimes idealistically think of, you know, we're gonna put ads online, they're gonna click those ads, they're gonna visit our website, they're gonna register, we're gonna call them, they're gonna answer, we're gonna look at a house, we're gonna put in an offer, and BrokerMint's gonna take it to the close. Does that happen? Absolutely, but we have to remember it's a pretty small percentage of the time. The probabilities are definitely not in your favor that that is how everything's gonna go. What you're seeing right here with this lead is a great example of the reality of nurturing online leads. This person registered 110 days ago. They visited 10 different times we have successfully had some email back and forth communication, and that's why they're here in the watch category, meaning that the agent talked to them, but maybe they just said, hey, I'm just looking, or I'm not ready today. You know, maybe when the kids go to college, you know, we all know those different reasons why buyers and sellers just aren't ready today. They might be willing to talk to us, but as your database grows, like I showed you before, how do you stay on top of all those just looking people who might be ready when you have 130,000 leads? For most agents, the only strategy is to simply automate the follow-up, to send them constant communication, hey, just checking in. But with Boomtown, by integrating the CRM and the website together, we can show you, based on user activity, where you should be spending your follow-up and prospecting time. Because anyone who's done a lot of prospecting with a big list knows that 
you have to play it as a numbers game, but it's hard to be personal. It's hard to really take the time to think about what can I do to really um, make this particular person become engaged and have a great conversation with them. That takes more time. So by using this technology, this user behavior, you're able to have the best of both worlds. You can say, I'm going to learn and take the time to think about what I should approach this person with. I'm going to tailor my approach to that follow up. And I know that timing is on my side. I'm more than likely going to be in the right place at the right time. And I'll show you guys just one more example of what this stuff can look like. Here's what I love to do with clients whenever they come to the office is pull up their archive leads. Archive and Boomtown Lingo is essentially we had a conversation, but they're nowhere near ready. You know, they were, they said, just looking, I'm glad to talk to you, but no, thank you. Um, and here's a great example of that. This lead came in 782 days ago. Communication happened, but for whatever reason, maybe the timing just wasn't right. Right home wasn't on the market, maybe things in the uh, buyer's personal life. But today, they are showing a high degree of interest in an agency listing. So one of the Casino Group's actual live listings is really catching this buyer's attention. And they just came back. But you can see right here, the last real communication with an agent was over 200 days ago. So every agent I've ever talked to in this business who's been doing it for a couple of years has a story about how they worked with a buyer or a seller for a really long time. Maybe they even had a personal relationship with them. And then one day they get on the MLS and they find that home's listed with another agent or that buyer went ahead and walked into an open house and, and decided to sign the agreement with the listing agent. These things happen because it's all about timing. You know, real estate is a long-term cycle when it comes to the buying or selling cycle. So we have to be in the right place at the right time. So what is right here in front of that casino group agent is an opportunity for them to reach out to this person and they can do it right through the Boomtown platform. They can use their Boomtown app. We call it the Now app where they can see these types of opportunities and they can send text messages with templates, which makes it really easy to do right from the Boomtown system. And all you really have to do is say, hey, Allison, I just wanted to check in and see how are you doing? How's the home search coming? What can I do to help? Just simply offering your service there at the right place at the right time really increases your probabilities of success. And over time, you're gonna continuously generate more and more leads. You're gonna create more and more subscribers. That database is gonna to continue to grow larger. And at all times, a certain percentage of that database is going to be active, active, ready, and willing. And another percentage is gonna be right here, right now, ready to pull the trigger. So we're gonna help you get in front of those leads. Now the now wall over here is just one basic example of how we make it super intuitive where you can just click in and start doing this right away. But you can also custom filter and kind of create different notifications for leads showing different types of, of activity. For example, maybe leads that are interested in a listing like one you have. We have behavioral analytics that can do that. So there's a couple of other different ways you can customize this view as well. But that's one of the most powerful strategies that's really helped Boomtown generate a lot of success for people. And the best part is the longer you do it, the more valuable your database becomes, the more leverage you have as a platform owner to create a business that can really weather a storm. You're not susceptible to rising and falls in the competition or what the market's doing. You've got an active database and that's your leverage. So now that I've talked through this strategy a good bit, I'm gonna click into the lead profile because um, let's say we talked to Allison. We said, hey Allison, we checked in with that person. We had a great conversation. And now we wanna take things to the next level. We went on a showing, she loved the property. We put in an offer. Now it's time to close the deal. And this is where brokerment comes into the picture and our whole integration can ensure a seamless process where the information goes back and forth. So uh, Brian, do you want to take back over the screen and just talk through that integration with everybody? Absolutely. And that was a great share also, Brian. Thanks for that. No problem. <clears throat> so let's go ahead. Uh, I think this screen looks familiar to everybody. We just got back into Boomtown here and you'll see I actually have two leads. Uh, one of them is Brian on the other line here from Boomtown and then I have a quote unquote Boomtown lead. And if I just jump into Brokermit, you'll see that these were actually created as contacts straight in Brokermit. So it reduces duplicate data entry for you. It's gonna save you some time. And then that listing that you'd created is also gonna show up as a Boomtown listing 
So we actually have a couple million dollar listings here, thanks to Boomtown. And I'm just gonna go ahead and accept the uh, 123 Brokerman Lane one. And you'll see all of these fields are automatically populated from the information that was in our listing. And you could go crazy here. Brokerman's also a very flexible tool, just like Boomtown, in that we're able to customize all of these fields. We could create additional fields if we want. And every piece of information in Brokerman, you can do a report on. So moving forward here, I'm just going to finalize this, uh, this listing. I'm going to keep it simple and put 6% commission, three for each side. I'm going to select my brokerage, which is Shepherd Realty, and add an agent. I'll just add myself here. And you'll see I have three different plans that I could select from for my commission. I'm just going to go with the 80-20 plan here because I'm not splitting it with anybody. But if you were going to be splitting commissions, you're able to add as many agents as you want to represent the listing side. You can represent both sides if you want, and you can put a bunch of agents on each side too. After that, we go ahead and add all of those contacts that we pulled in from Boomtown. I could go ahead and do it, but I'm just going to skip it because it's pretty easy, and I think you guys get the general idea there. Uh, but here we are, right inside Brokermit, on the same listing that we pulled straight from Boomtown. Now, if I'd taken the time to fill out all these fields in Boomtown, they would seamlessly come over into Brokermit. Um, but the first thing we're going to want to do here is just add a checklist. Because we don't have um, checklists automatically populate for you. And on this checklist, it's requiring a TC. And the reason it requires a TC is because there's some items on my checklist that need to be completed by a TC. So you'll see those items have Jake's initials next to them. And the items that your agent needs to complete has Brian's initials next to them. Some of these items are as easy as just checking off the checkbox to complete but others require uh, a document to be attached. So there's three ways to pull up documents in Brokerment. Uh, the first way is just to upload with the upload button and that'll pull the document straight onto the task that you're working with. The other two ways won't do that. Uh, the other two ways are gonna be both add via email right here, which generates a unique email address uh, based off of the property. And then the third way is going to be drag and drop. So we could go ahead Say we have seven items here that we need to pull into the system. Brokerman will automatically process them for you and pull them into the unsorted documents section. And it'll tell you that right here, but if you wanna see, it pulls us from this checklist just down to the documents section right here. And now that we have all of our documents uploaded, we can go ahead and start divvying them out to tasks. So we'll say agency disclosure, appraisal, etc. Now, if you run into an instance where both of these pages need to be merged together and uh, put on one item on your checklist, you can easily merge multiple documents together. And we'll just call this the merge doc. And the best part is it saves the original pagers. So you're not gonna lose any data in Brokerment. And it works in reverse too. So if we had like a five page document that we wanted to split, we could go ahead and say pages one to three go to this item on our checklist, and pages four to five go to this item. And Brokerment does all the heavy lifting for you. Uh, I personally love this feature at my last job. Uh, to edit PDFs, I'd have to go to some sketchy third-party website, uh, but Brokerment, it does it all for you. So after that, uh, I was telling you all that Brokerment is contract to close, so I know a lot of these documents, they'll, they'll need to be approved or at least reviewed by an admin before they're uh, fully submitted. So we're gonna just submit these for approval. And then at this point, your admin or TC, whoever it is that approves docs in your brokerage is going to be getting an email notification that'll take them over to their approved docs queue. And from here, they could go ahead and review all of those docs that need to be completed. The one nuance here is if you did reject a document, you have to provide a reason why. But if they always forget, for example, page five, paragraph two, you can actually template that as a reason why, save you just a little bit more time. After the documents have been reviewed, you could go ahead and notify additional people if you want to. And then we can jump back in the transaction. Now, because I did um, reject one document, your agent's gonna have to go and review it. 
Now, if they have any questions, they could go ahead and start a dialogue here between the TC and the agent. Uh, where is page five? And you can just go from there. It's a great way to, you know, just have that dialogue and make sure things are completed and everybody's on the same page. Now, moving on to commissions, this is where things get really fun inside of Brokerman. Uh, as you can see, uh, for Brian here, he has a transaction fee of $200. He has a listing service fee of $1,200, which is 0.12% of the price sold. And then he has, he's also on a split. So Brian's on a split of 80% commission until he reaches $9,000 in company dollar contribution at which point he'll be bumped up to 100% and he gets bumped back to 80 every year. Now, if we wanted to show this agent a statement or a CDA, we can simply click right here and generate it for him. This statement will show the agent's breakdown of commission. So it'll show the gross commission, the allocation, the split, and any fees that may come up. And it's a great way for your agents to check those values. And then if you wanted to do an actual CDA, you can fill out all these fields here and make it look real pretty. And this will give you a breakdown for every party that's receiving a payment off of the listing. So whether it's the agent, the office, maybe like an HOA or a plumber, something like that. And you'll notice that there's a little flag here saying that commissions haven't been finalized yet. And basically what that means is we haven't closed the transaction. And once you close the transaction, it does two very important things inside of Brokerman. The first thing it does is calculate and finalize commissions. Uh, and what that means in layman's terms is it'll finalize the commissions and populate the data into QuickBooks for you, which would be your accounting tool if you use Brokerman. Uh, otherwise, you know, you could just write the checks out manually. And then uh, the second thing, the second important thing it's gonna do is generate a transaction archive. And uh, that transaction archive is basically going to be a list of all the property de details here, as well as uh, every document that's on your checklist and associated with the property. We'll create a zip file for you and we'll back it up in either Google Drive or Dropbox. Uh, all your information is actually going to be saved indefinitely inside of Brokerman. Uh, case in point being, we actually have an activity log with everything that happens inside the system. So if you actually have a document that's been deleted, you'll see I deleted this agent home screen back in November 2018. I could still download it. We just back all of your information up into Google Drive or Dropbox uh, for your own confident or for your own uh, for your own benefit. Um, so moving on from there, uh, as far as agents go, I think they really love that broker mint for a couple of big reasons. The first one is gonna be their pipeline. This is a great way for agents to kind of view their current month of listing, pending, and closed deals, as well as the previous five months of closed and canceled business, kind of alleviating their need to go and ask their TC or their broker those easy questions like, hey, how much did I make last month? They could go ahead, click on the box, and it'll give them a breakdown of all the different properties they worked at. And they could even sort through net income and sales volume if they want. Now the broker or the admin typically has a little bit higher visibility uh, due to their permissions, and they'll be able to view office values as well, such as office net, sales volume, and gross. From there, uh, the second place that I was telling you that agents are gonna love, it's gonna be the calendar. And you'll see that anything past due is gonna be highlighted in red. This is a compilation of every property that they're working on. So every checklist together, and it's in chronological order. So it's a great way for your agents to organize their days and their weeks around those necessary tasks that need to be completed. Uh, likewise, if you have your admins doing this work, great place for them to look to. And your agents would only be able to view their calendar, but for example, your admin should be able to sort through individual calendars, or view everybody's calendar at the same time if they wanted to. So moving on from there, uh, I was telling you that we have a whole bunch of customization inside of Brokermint. Fields, all fully customizable. These are all the listing fields that you can create. Remember, there are a lot. Um, I added lead source as a field. You'll see Boomtown's one of our lead sources. And this way, uh, whenever I have a listing, I can have my agents put in the, the lead source, and I could even mark it required if I want to, and I could do a report on it at the end of the year. Uh, 
data dis driven decisions are a really big thing with brokerment. So these reports on the bottom here, these are all built into the into brokerment once you get it. And you even have the option to make a custom report if you wanted to. Again, off of maybe those fields that you created, uh, the custom fields. But you'll see with my closed and pending, I could sort through those lead sources just like I made. Um, and they're the world is your oyster here. There's a ton of different options for you. Um, definitely recommend if you want to kind of explore reports or something, get in touch with me and I'll walk you through the system in a little more depth. Okay, so any questions uh, so far about brokerment and how it works? All right, it looks, looks like there's no questions. Uh, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into my slide deck. And I'm just going to kind of show you an example of uh, contract to close, lead to close, like kind of a technology stack that, that I run into a lot. Um, typically, people are using Boomtown because it's an awesome, uh, innovative, flexible, robust program. Uh, so we're going to stick with that for this webinar. And then from Boomtown, they're going to want to start transaction management, uh, which would be done in Brokerment. And again, we integrate with Boomtown. So there's a seamless transition of data. You won't have to type it out again. Brokerman also integrates with MLS, Flex MLS, Updater, all that kind of good stuff to maybe, you know, pull an extra listing information or maybe uh, get some other type of information out of the MLS for you. Uh, we work with uh, Google Calendar to make sure all your dates line up. And then we work on commissions for you as well. And I remember Brian was talking about how, you know, technology is always constantly evolving uh, during his Boomtown spiel. And I feel the same way. Uh, you can see Brokerment has been evolving over the years. So we've started out just doing transaction management. Then we added commission tracking and reporting to go along with it. And really the big benefit here for our reports is going to be the fact that we have commission data and transaction data all in the same place. So your reports are gonna be much more accurate because you don't have to reconcile data from multiple platforms to get that report you want. So it'll also save you time, at more accurate reports and a time saver. And then as far as innovation goes, just last year we released our agent management tools. So that includes uh, complete user profiles for each of your agents, customizable goals that you could set up and track with them, as well as agent onboarding. And Brokerman agent onboarding is a little bit better than other onboarding in that this is more of a compliance piece for you. So you'll be able to create a checklist for each of your agents to go through before they're allowed to do business under your name. And again, it's just preventing those agents from becoming liabilities uh, for doing business uh, without filling out all the proper paperwork yet. Again, uh, when it comes to commission and you're using Brokerment, you're definitely going to want to utilize our QuickBooks integration. Brokerment itself is not an accounting tool. We rely on QuickBooks to cut checks and calculate monthly expenses, such as you know the electric bill and things like that. Uh, but it's perfectly work workable in QuickBooks, and we have a very advanced configuration with them. Okay, so I know that uh, Catherine wasn't able to make it today, but uh, from the few words that I was able to speak with her while we were practicing for this webinar, she was telling me that uh, when you're using Boomtown and Brokerman in to in, in together, <laughs> uh, you'll be you're really the the best thing you can do is utilize Boomtown to its max maximum potential. That way. Everything that comes into Brokerment is going to be everything you need from Boomtown. For example, listing information, property details, uh, lead information, contact details. All that kind of information is better handled in Boomtown so you can nurture those leads and then just have it seamlessly come into Brokerment to save you the time of typing it all out again or reconciling notes with the agent that's working on the file, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just a really easy integration as long as you use Boomtown well, is what I was hearing from Catherine. Um, Brian, do you have any thoughts on, as to that as well? Have you spoken with any of your clients that use Boomtown and Brokerment? Yeah, so, and, and just like even what I was showing you guys there uh, earlier, the Path and Post group, you, you know, like, like I mentioned before, the technology will constantly evolve, like the tools you have at your disposal will evolve, but it really comes down to how you use the tools, because 
you know, like, like I said before, when we started offering the product that was Boomtown 10 years ago, it was a pretty unique product. There weren't a lot of products out there that really took advantage of online advertising and that type of marketing um, at that time. But now you see tons of those products out there. And so when agents ask me, you know, what makes Boomtown different? How do I use it to get an edge and help stand out? Again, what I try to remind people is it really comes down to a couple of things. Like one, how you and your agents use and adopt the system. Speed to lead is very something we're very big on and a lot of the tools we provide help people be as responsive as possible. But the other side of the equation is that long-term database growth, that engagement strategy, because there's a lot more to follow up than simply automating the, hey, just checking in part. There's a lot of it to be said about creating engagement. Uh, and yeah, when it, and even the Path and Post, for example, you know, Becky, who's the, the CEO of Path and Post, she had a great quote that's always stuck with me. And she said that uh, over 50% of their deals they've realized after three years of using Boomtown and Brokerment together are coming from leads that have been in the system for over one year. So if you think about that, it really is, like I mentioned before, that the people who come in and register and come in the Brokerment as a closing are gonna be the smaller portion of the overall database. But if over 50% of your leads come in after being a member or a subscriber of the Boomtown website for over a year, what she tells her agents is simply, 50% of the deals you're gonna close this year are already in your database. So you need to get to work on identifying who you need to follow up with, how you're gonna handle being in the right place at the right time. And they have a set strategy that they work with every agent. And uh, a lot of the other tools we offer in terms of marketing automation, such as bulk email, smart drip plans, um, and a whole host of reporting and insights that help both the broker and the agent make some data-driven decisions, as you mentioned before, have a lot to do with the overall success when it comes to turning a lead into a closing. But if there's one thing I think for a brokerment client on this webinar, if you're not using Boomtown, one thing to think about is that real power comes through engagement, through the thing that always is engaging, and that's listing data. So leveraging listing data to create engagement is what takes a CRM, which is an automation tool, and makes it a really powerful thing, a platform that you can build a bigger business out of. So um, when it comes to using our system to the fullest extent, that's some of the best practices. Keeping complete information in the lead profiles. The more information you put into the lead profile, and we do a lot of it for you automatically, the more information you have to put in the broker mint. And because this integration is a two-way sync, that information comes back in the Boomtown. So it also assists you with our own reporting and analytics um, about, you know, where your leads are coming from. Because that's on the Boom side, of, Boomtown side of the equation. Where am I investing money? What traffic sources are long-term turning into revenue for me? Um, that's a big question our clients are always thinking about. And by having this integration, you get that full piece or that full picture you don't have leads that just turn into appointments and go off into some other system they go in the brokerment they come back in the boomtown now we have a full circle picture of what's going on awesome and that is some valuable insight right there brian i really appreciate you talking about that yeah um, no problem we're going to wrap things up here uh, if anybody does have questions if you use brokerment and you want to hear more about broom boomtown Give Brian a call uh, or shoot him an email. His email's right on the page here, and there's a phone number too. Um, and likewise, if you use uh, Boomtown but not Brokerment, give me a call. I'll be glad to talk to you and see if maybe we can help you with your back office a little bit. Absolutely. And if you're a Boomtown client, just make sure if you haven't already, try if you absolutely can to come see us at Unite. And uh, we'll be looking forward to showing you guys a lot of cool things at Boomtown and having Brokerment there as well to learn more. Great. Yeah. Thanks everybody for showing up and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Okay. Thanks everyone.